Thank you, Doc, for being here. <clears throat> uh, Doc, I've been diagnosed with uh, multiple cysts on my kidney, left kidney. Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm listening. Multiple cysts. Okay. Yeah, multiple cysts on my left kidney. That's okay, now, let me ask you a question. And... Yeah. Um, did they find this on a CAT scan or MRI or an X-ray? How did they find them? Yeah, this was an ultrasound. Okay, and why were they doing the examination? Did you have an injury on your back or anything? Uh, no, I've, I've been itching. I've been itching all over my body for months and months and months. Okay, and is this the first time this itching has happened, or that? Or did you have that when you were a teenager and a little kid? Never. Okay. What about skin pumps? you ever have any um, eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? Uh, no. Okay, what about asthma? Did you ever have any asthma, bronchitis? I d I've had several bronchitis bouts. Okay. And, uh, I do and emphysema. Okay. And did you ever have your appendix out or any bowel problems? Uh, no. Okay, no constipation, no diarrhea, no colitis, no diverticulitis, none of that? No. Okay. Char, what do you think is going on here? Well, I don't know. He could have a gluten intolerance. I don't and know. He's had several bouts of bronchitis, and he's been itching all over for months. Itchy okay. skin would indicate a gluten intolerance. And so, yes, itching all over, um, definitely in, in the history of, uh, again, bronchitis, that can indicate a, a gluten problem. But um, the thing that's fascinating to me, I, I met a guy the other night, too, both kidneys covered with hundreds and hundreds of cysts, and he had been in a car accident, and they were doing CAT scans on him, and they saw all these cysts. Well, these are usually birth defects. They're usually birth defects. Uh, they're not something that's acquired later in life. And they find them, incidentally, because they're examining you for some other reason. Okay? And so all oh, this becomes very exciting for the doctor. Oh, my gosh. We've got to do a kidney transplant. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. I would definitely get a second opinion uh, when it comes to the kidney issue. You can have 25 or 50 cysts the size of a grape all over your kidneys and have been born with those. And uh, they really have nothing to do with whatever your health issue is um, that, be, that you went to see the doctor for. But that's something they can hang their hat on, and you see it, and it's very spectacular. So, at any rate, what do you weigh here, Glenn? Well, 150. Okay, Charmaine, what would you do in addition to changing his diet? No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, brother, and oats. What would you uh, give Glenn to support healthy um, maintenance repair of all biological functions of the body. Personally, uh, for his issues, I just give him two healthy brain and heart packs. Okay, very, very good. Uh, you get an A++, dear. Two healthy brain and heart packs, a full dose of everything uh, twice a day. And um, I don't know, I would throw in one more thing. Uh, I would throw in maybe the MSM. I just love that MSM for anything going on in the body. And so, uh, especially since he had a history of itchy skin, the dermis, uh, which makes up like three-quarters of the thickness of the skin, uh, is made up out of uh, collagen, connective tissue. MSM is wonderful for that, supporting maintenance repair. So I'd also have, Glenn, 150 pounds in addition to the two healthy brain and heart packs. Full dose thing twice a day. Get two bottles a month of the MSM from our free life division and take um, three of those tablets twice a day. Give us a call every couple of weeks. If you get a second opinion on those kidney and then find out what your kidney function is. If your kidney function is all normal, okay, then I wouldn't worry about them. But uh, get it, another opinion and get the numbers on your creatinine and glomerular filtration rate and let us know. 